Uh, this is a poem about the time Mark Knopfler called me up. It's called Mark Knopfler called my house one time. Mark Knopfler called my house one time. Okay, okay, okay. It was a planned interview, but still. Knopfler handles them himself. He schedules it. Then he calls you. He said, it's Mark here. Is this Simon? Yeah, hi, Mark, I said. I'd been sitting at my kitchen table on a Friday night waiting for the call, nervous, and off to a gig straight after. This is Simon. How's things? And then he said very little, suggesting we crack into it. We cracked into it. He had a new album to plug. It was, like many of his solo albums, immaculate and nearly unremarkable, profound in its polish, with the highlights being extraordinary, but too long. And once we'd covered the essential tick-the-box stuff about the writing and recording of the new album, we talked about his old band and how they'd never reform, and he pitched his philosophy around songwriting. You've got to get behind the plough. Do the work. Do the work. That's what he was saying. That's what he, in fact, at one point even said. I got to ask him about Tina Turner's song, Private Dancer. He wrote it. She recorded it. Most of Dire Straits is on it, but not Mark Knopfler. A scheduling conflict, he started, almost bored by himself. But he had his killer line in waiting. I would have done it, but I was on the other side of the world doing something else. They couldn't wait, so they gave Jeff Beck a call, and he came in and laid down the world's second ugliest guitar solo. I knew time was running out, and I had to lob in a final question. Was it to be about his brother, who I assumed, and what I assumed was animosity? But just then the nagging of, well, what is the ugliest guitar solo in the world, crept into my mind. I started thinking about whether Twisting by the Pool or Walk or Life had horrible guitar solos, because they are horrible songs. But as I went to ask it, the intro to Brothers in Arms started playing in my mind. The stinging strat lines from Telegraph Road echoed, that evocative intro from the live version of Once Upon a Time in the West circled too, and so many solos, including, yes, of course, Sultans of Swing. It was all merging, and I panicked and muttered something about his brother. Well, I would answer that, Simon, Mark told me, then paused, timing his masterstroke, in concert, on record, and in interviews too. But I've already given you five minutes extra beyond the allocation, so we'll leave it there. I enjoyed the chat. Have a pleasant rest of the evening, won't you? I didn't. I jumped straight into a cab to get to a show and sat watching a really boring gig. A mess of wannabe supergroup action, racking my brain about the world's ugliest guitar solo, all the while knowing his line was just a line.